If your solar contractor can't deliver your project in 60 days or less, it may be time to find a new contractor. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the process to get your solar system installed in as little as four to eight weeks. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here with Solar Surge, and today we're going to be looking at the solar installation process. I'm going to be walking you through the several steps that happen from when you have your initial contract signing with your sales representative all the way through having the system permitted, installed, inspected, and final connection with the power company. Now the entire process kicks off with the site survey. Uh, usually the following week after you sign a new contract, the surveyor will come out and his job is basically to double check all the measurements and everything that was done using the original computer-based design. Uh, his job is actually to get, uh, get on site and verify that everything is going to fit or work as planned. Usually that's going to involve getting on the roof, taking a direct uh, physical measurement of the dimensions of the roof surfaces that we're going to be using. Uh, also that typically involves opening up the circuit breaker panel and planning exactly where each connection is going to be made. The goal here is to make sure that there's no surprises for anybody on installation day. Once the site survey is confirmed, we're going to kick off three parallel processes. Along the top, you have your engineering and permitting process. You know, solar is just like any other construction project. You have to pull building and electrical permits, just like you're building an addition onto the house. We'll also be doing the utility interconnection application process. Uh, this is the uh, paperwork and the things that are required to receive approval to interoperate with the power company. Sometimes you'll be selling power to them, sometimes you know, you'll be buying power from them at nighttime. And then the third process here optionally is if you live in a neighborhood with a homeowners association, there's a process there as well to be able to submit the plans for review and get approval from the homeowners association. So along the top path first, before we can apply at the county or at the city for permits, we actually have to have a what's called an engineered plan set, which is a, a detailed set of building plans that breaks the installation down to the specific level of detail, like uh, where each roof attachment and real, where the structural attachments are going to be made. Uh, this will also include an electrical wiring schematic, which the electrical plan reviewer will want to see before issuing the electrical permits. So once the engineering team uh, finalizes that plan set, usually it's about 10 to 20 page uh, plan set, then that'll be submitted to your local jurisdiction, which is your city or county government, to apply for permits. The jurisdiction may take, in some cases, two to three weeks to review the plans before the permits are issued, but that's how that process works here. In parallel to that, there'll be filings with your power company. So uh, similar to the electrical plan review, the power company is going to want to see uh, an electrical wiring schematic that shows how all of the different solar equipment is going to be interconnected. They're also going to want to know the exact make and model of the equipment that you're using. They want to make sure that uh, the equipment that you're using for your project it has the necessary listings and certifications to work uh, in partnership with the power grid. So all of those documents will be submitted uh, to the power company as well. Uh, there may be some documents for the system owner uh, for you to sign uh, just to give your approval to activate your account for two-way metering. And then again, uh, this all depends on neighborhood as far as your homeowners association, but most homeowners association has what's called an architectural review board, and there's typically a one or two page uh, application that needs to be submitted there. So we wanna be executing on all three of these processes in parallel to make sure that we keep your scheduled installation date. Now once all the third party approvals have been obtained, that's when the installation crew is actually going to show up to your job site or to the construction site with the solar panels and the other equipment to be installed. The roof crew will do the solar panel mounting or if it's a ground mount system, the ground construction crew will do the solar panel mounting. Uh, the electrical team will hook up your inverter, which means you know, you're going to have uh, at some point in the system, a conversion between direct current DC power coming off the solar panels and alternating current AC power, which is used to power the home and also uh, optionally sell back to the power grid. So the electrical team will be working on this piece here. And then if you choose to install a battery backup, which many of our clients do, uh, the electrical team will also install a critical loads sub panel. So this is going to be a separate circuit breaker panel 
where all the circuits that we move over there are going to be on automatic battery backup. So whatever's in that critical loads panel, you're never going to be without electricity, even if grid power is down. So once all three components have been installed, then we'll have the jurisdiction, uh, the city or the county will come back out to do a final inspection. And then once all the final inspections pass, we notify the power company and they install your new electric meter so you can start selling solar power back and forth. So this has been the solar installation process. If it's executed properly, you should have your solar system up and running within four to eight weeks of the initial contract signing. Well, as always, folks, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this channel. If you find the information useful here, be sure to go ahead and hit the like and the subscribe button. And of course, be sure to share this link with others that you think will benefit from the information here. If you have any questions, post a question in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to get an answer for you as well. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.